not sure if you can quite see it, guys, but there's loads of turtles in here. Look at these guys coming up for you now. So there's mainly saw shell turtles, but I think there's probably going to... Oh, yeah, there's a Crest freshwater turtle there. So uh, another one coming up with it. We'll go in and have a little snorkel and get some footage from under the water. Notice so I wanted to show you something a bit interesting here. Now, quite often you'll find these gums that are weeping sap just like this. And this one, as you can see, has got lots and lots of nodules. Quite a few of them are weeping. Now, quite often that's what a sugar glider will do. All the greater gliders, any of the glider species really, is they'll find a tree and they constantly nip and chew at the bark on these trees so as they weep this gum uh, it's nice and sweet and sugary and it's kind of just a nice little treat for gliders so if you're ever out and about and you see one of these gums with the the wounds up it weeping like this be sure to check the canopy for some uh, sugar gliders Alright, nature nutters, look who we've got here. Sneaky old echidna. Oh, he's going to wedge himself right down in there. Good and proper. Alright, nature nutters, we've got an awesome surprise for you. It started raining quite heavily. Anyway, we've come back up the track. Oh, we've got a beautiful big amethystine python. He's a good size snake, this one. What do you reckon? Three metery? Maybe, maybe four? Maybe four. Yep. Yes, how lucky are we, nature nutters? Look at the size of this thing. Oh, he's going up a 
Baby, I need you down here now. Ah, uh, make it quick. Okay, we've broken the branch that he's on. Huh? He's going back up the path. Okay, right on. Yeah. That's no bad thing. I'm just going to gently encourage him up there a touch. Yep. Yep. Oh my god, he's freshly molted and beautiful. Alright, I'm coming back up. I'm coming back up. Alright, back to you on the camera. Alright guys, this is awesome. Look at the size of this. Beautiful big snake. <laughs> Alright guys. Woohoo! Look yeah. at this snake. Alright. I gotta lay down. Just so as you can see I'm I'm 187. Yep. <laughs> Look at yeah, that. He snake. has to be four, eh? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh I'm so glad we decided to double back. She's a beautifully placid snake. She's really uh not attempting to really bite me or constrict me like they usually would. So much so I'm just gonna let go of this head now. Once I just get a slightly better direction on her. But look at that. Come get a nice close up of the sheen on this on these scales. You can see how they got the rainbow serpent dream time stories from the Aboriginals. Mm -hmm. Look at that snake. Woohoo! We are off. To a beautiful start. Look at this. Look at this beautiful snake. Would you like a little hold, darling? Uh. Oh, she's a beautiful plastic snake. She's not at all aggressive. How's about you come, you come take her here, darling? Mariella's first big amethyst fifteen python cuddle. Oh God. Well done, darling. <laughs> How's the power? How? Uh, she just wants to go. Yeah. Oh, Look at you go. That snake's twice as long as you are tall. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> All right, just let it go down there. We'll just follow her up in the forest. Can I have wow. a photo? Yeah, you can have a photo. Look at her just slowly breathing in. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna just I'm gonna go up the hill slightly. I'm just gonna go around you, stay there. No, no, no. No, no. You're fine, sweetheart. Relax. Well, she's rubbing in. No, 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 no. Really not. Sweetie, look at this guy. Yeah, that's my girl. Oh. Go, 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 go. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you get... Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that was good if you can get to one more hand. Oh, yeah, thank you. Now, yeah, get that. Let me up me. No, 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 calm. She's, she's hard to get. I know. She is. I know. But I'm not used to it.
got these heat protecting pits just along her jaw here so when she's going through the forest at night she's reliant on these heat pits giving a thermal signature of what's out in the forest in front of her vegetation program area that the local residents have done and anyway there's some really good regrowth here and we saw a little sugar glider so we've come through the forest chasing a sugar glider and Mariella has spotted a beautiful frill neck dragon on the tree here let's go over and say g'day looks like it might be a little female by the look of it nice find baby She decided to uh, have a nice little jump, which I quite often do during the day, but I've never actually seen that at night. Now she's in the process of molting, so heaps of her skin's coming off around her frill. But this is obviously why they call them a frill neck dragon. what I mean by this big sheets of dead skin you can see falling off her right now I do want to just get in behind the head so as I can avoid the worst of these claws there we go but you can see she's actually look at the big <laughs> because we, there's been lots of tropical rain up here at the moment it's really nice and humid that's the ideal time for all the reptiles to do their mm -hmm. molts. They're feeding heavily. Yeah, what a beautiful dragon. This is a going to be a little girl. If it was a boy, she'd have <laughs> two gonads, basically swollen testes there. But, um, yeah, it's actually a species you want to get avoid being bitten by, I should say. Now here, um, saliva has a tendency to get quite uh, a nasty infection. I've been bitten by these guys a few times and it never ends well. <laughs> you always end up with a bit of a, a gnarly, festering scratch of a wound. But yeah, she seems to be calming down now a wee bit. I suspect that'll be short-lived. Yeah, what a beautiful little girl. Oh, little paralysis ticking behind the neck here, I think. So we'll get rid of that for her. Yeah. Got the head. Good, good. Say goodbye to that. She'll live a more prosperous life from now on. All right. We'll say goodnight. We'll get some... Um, stills and uh, put her back on her tree and leave her alone for the rest of the night. Not a very nice surprise to be woken up by brother nature is it girl? Alright, see you later. Impossible for you 
guys to sit on the GoPro unfortunately but we've got some eye shine off in the distance here it's on a low level branch I suspect it's a little owlet nightjar which is a um, relative of the tawny frogmouth which you're probably more likely to be familiar with so we're going to try and sneak up as close as possible and see if we can't get a decent uh, yeah, shot for you get a bit of a closer I just point my light on this rock and I suddenly realized that actually there was something that caught my attention and I was right it's actually a beautiful python this one will be carpet right yeah that's right and yeah it's beautiful I was looking for the one we got yesterday um, but yeah, Mother Nature, I guess, rewarded me with him. another one. <laughs> yeah, different one, hey. Beautiful it's little. Big. No, not as big as that one. But Freshly yeah. malted though. Yeah, yeah. And look, she's in a beautiful ambush pattern, waiting for any prey, suspecting to walk up from around these rocks, along the base of the rock here, anything, basically, any little... Uh, marsupials, any little rodents coming along here, frogs, lizards mm. would come along mm. and get ambushed from above by this yeah. this little beauty alright, well she decided to move guys and we just tried to stop her from absolutely flying down the hillside into the thick forest anyway, she's not a happy snake She's uh, just tagged me on the side of the leg, actually. She's gripping me pretty hard. She beat you? No, no, no. Oh. She, I'm saying she's gripping me pretty hard. She bit my leg before, but... Fool me once, you won't fool me twice. She's choking my fingers up. There it is. She don't want to let go. Oh dear, I've got her opening her mouth. Well, my fellow wildlife enthusiasts, that's another episode for today. I certainly hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to give us a thumbs up and a bit of a subscribe. That helps out an awful lot and also allows us to produce more for you. I certainly hope you enjoyed it. See you later.